Christmas, the pointless stuff. Over the last few days, I've covered a number of things we can do over Christmas to create damage limitation. And hopefully you've really got the message that we're not about making Christmas boring and rubbish and cutting out all the fun stuff. It's about doing it in a way so you can do all that, but come into January not having a net loss overall in how you feel and in how happy you are. So what we're looking to do is not to reduce or cut out the fun stuff, but maybe to reduce or cut out just everything else around it, to average out elsewhere. Is there any point having a large lunch by yourself on a day where you're gonna have a large tea and a few drinks with your friends or your family members? And is there any point having breakfast on a day where you're liable to have a lot of food later in the day? Is there any point drinking drinks that have a lot of calories in if they're not particularly exciting and enjoyable? So is there any point in having a latte from Starbucks when you're gonna have 10 pints later that night? And so on. So it's about making changes to that getting rid of the pointless stuff, the stuff that doesn't really add much value, that doesn't really change how much you enjoy the next few weeks, but when put on top of the impact of all the stuff you are going to enjoy, can make the difference between maintenance or slight surplus and substantial surplus. So how's about over the next few weeks, we do all the stuff we enjoy, maybe make a few little tweaks to it, but not at the expense of the enjoyment. We do a lot less of the other eating and drinking around it that doesn't really make much difference to how much we enjoy it. We come into January having enjoyed it, but having had enough of a difference on the impact to cause that massive damage limitation.